polar opposite here. Let's go over to Arizona. And Jed Fish went 1-11 last year. That is three wins less than Colorado. But I expect him to have more wins than Colorado this year because I don't think Colorado will have any. Um, 1.89 post-game win expectancy last year, so they expected them to be closer to 2-10 and 10 as opposed to 1-11. and 11. Uh, But they had a really difficult non-conference last year. They're doing it again this year. I mean, just, what are you doing? This is ridiculous. Um, I do feel good about them. I do. I, I think they win a couple of those non-conference games. Now, would it shock me if they don't? Not in the slightest. But I think that they have upgraded the talent here. They're up to number 68 roster in the country, number 58 on offense, number 74 on defense. They've got 20, uh, excuse me, the number 23 returning offense in the country, 77% is coming back. Um, I look at this, like the offensive coordinator, Brennan Carroll was an offensive line coach for the Seahawks for five years. Uh, the quarterbacks coming in, Jaden DeLara, and then, of course, the recruit, uh, Noah Fafita, who looks like he's going to be a stud. Th- th- that should be big improvement at the quarterback position where they were number 108 in passing success rate last year, number 110 in QBR in 21. And you should expect a youth movement on offense for sure. 19 freshmen or sophomores expected to be on the offense of two deep. Like, now, that includes uh, uh, cowing the wide receiver uh, from Utah. But... The talent upgrade is, is pretty obvious here. Like, they've got some players that just got to get them to gel right. They got to get them to develop right. Uh, on defense, Don Brown took the UMass head coaching job. New DC is Johnny Nansen, who is a defensive line coach at UCLA. I think he'll be okay. We'll see. I mean, Don Brown was very aggressive. I, ex- I expect uh, Nansen to kind of play a little more off the ball, a little more, that you know, come to us as opposed to we're going to take you down. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see what that looks like. The offense could dictate a lot of this as well. Uh, Arizona's defense allowed 371 yards per game in 21, first time since 2010 that it was less than 400. That's that's 11 seasons. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Uh, the nose guards, uh, Bars and Harris, uh, those guys are, are studs on the defensive line. One's a defensive end. Excuse me, Harris is a defensive end. Uh, number 76 rushing success rate should improve with the transfers, you know, linebackers, Eccles, Solomon, Mercier, uh, seven defensive backs return with 350-plus snaps. Pass defense is going to be fine. I mean, they were number 39 with passing success rate on defense. So, I feel good about that. They're only projected favorites in one game. Their win total is 2.5 to go over is juiced at minus 170 over at BetUS. I, I wouldn't bet the conference odds. You know, plus 250. Um, or, no, sorry, 250 to 1. That's a, that's a lot different. They ain't going to win the conference this year. I'll tell you that. Uh, but Jaden DeLara coming in for Washington State, certainly a step up at quarterback. They, they've they got some good things going on. They were dead last in turnover margin last year. They were number 129 in penalties per game. They can improve if those are not cleaned up. you got to find a way to not beat yourself. How does the offense look with actual capable quarterbacks? Like I was just saying, with Jaden DeLara, et cetera. Are they going to shock everyone and come out firing? Uh, the ratio was basically 50-50 rush to pass last year. Jed Fish in the NFL, like I think he understands that you've got to be able to run the football somewhat. But as far as the college game goes, like you got to run whatever the other team can't stop. So if you are really good at throwing the football, you better be slinging it. Still a building process, but the roster looks capable of competing this year. Uh, curious to see what they're going to end up doing next. I don't expect a ton of wins. I've got them sitting at 3-9. and nine. Uh, But those wins are over San Diego State, North Dakota State, and Colorado. I'd swap them around. I, I expect about three wins this year. Like I said, win total is two and a half. I expect them to get over that, and it's highly juiced at that. So, obviously, Vegas expects that as well. Bet U.S., whatnot. But three and nine looks about right. That's the, the way that I would go. That is the way that I would go with it. I, I like Arizona. I'm curious what they're going to end up doing. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.